Okay, guys, we're here today with Jaden Cox, Gordon Ryan, huge honor for me. Guys, Jaden is one of the best wrestlers in the planet, a wrestling world champion, and uh, Gordon is the best grappler in the world. So today we're here for both of them. It's not every day that we have two guys like this with us. So uh, Jaden is going to teach us here some wrestling shots for grapplers. And I'm very excited to learn from him awesome. and hear Gordon comments about it. So let's do it. All right, guys. So I'm gonna here to teach you some shots that are gonna work out for you guys because uh, I'm gonna let you guys know coming to Boston. It's been kind of rough. I've been getting guillotined quite a bit. Um, Gordon's really <laughs> good at it. If you guys have watched any of his career, uh, pretty good um, at, at his field. So what I really want to show you guys, if I can use a Gordon right, um, is one, all right, is a high single. It's a very simple, very easy. And with you guys, you know, jujitsu guys stand up just a little bit more. It's a lot easier to get to, okay? So I get in here, all right, and the easy setup this is I'll pull and I'm trying to time this step. You see that step, all right? I'm gonna time that step and once I see this leg's about to move towards me, I'm gonna release my hands, put my head in this chest, two hands to the leg, drive through, all right? So right here, boom, boom, all right? Now I use my legs, use my head, drive through, keeps my head up, keeps my legs up, all right? If you wanna drop down to the ankle, you can, all right? If that's too, sti too sticky of a situation, all right, you come inside, right here, bring it up, chop them down. If you don't want to do that, stay here. Shoulder pressure on the knee, on top of the thigh, feet like feet, all right, and dip down. All right, so that's one. Um, another one that I have, blast double, head through the chest. I've shown this before, all right? Same setup, I'm gonna step here, pull, step, step, hands release, head's going through the chest. Hands coming to the back of the knees. All right, once I decide, I'm gonna swing his legs this way. All right, I'm gonna drive, swing, lean on top. All right, very easy, very simple. All right, but I'm just gonna show this for the, for the sake of this. If I'm here, one thing that Gordon is gonna fight to do is take my head outside. Boom, all right? So it is important when I get in on either shot, to keep this man moving. Make it so he can't focus on my head to move it around. We've gotten this ball around a lot. When I let Gordon sit here like this, he's able to get heavy and able to move me, right? But if I'm able to move him a little bit, get him moving around, he can't focus on my head anymore. Yeah, no, that's awesome, Jaden. Well, Jaden, like when you see like Jiu Jitsu grapplers trying to do takedowns, my even ugly for you to watch that what are the mistakes what are the biggest mistakes you see like grapplers doing when they're trying to work on wrestling and take those and etc 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 i would think the the two biggest thing is one no setup um and not creating angles right no you, setups and not creating angles all right okay. so if you're not setting it up as far as moving someone's defenses out of the way and especially for you guys you know i've talked with gordon about matches being 20 30 40 even longer you know you don't want to have to work that hard. You want to be the laziest, hardest working yeah. wrestler, right? Yeah. So I work hard at my setup, so the finish is really easy, right? Yeah. So get a setup, create an angle, so that whenever I get this angle, it's really easy for me to drive you down or pick you up. Yeah. So you focus more in the setups than actually in the finishing. For sure, for sure, yeah. you have to. The setups will actually help you, your finish. Okay. Right, if you just go with the finish, but I have my arms in the way of your yeah. attack, it won't work out too well. Okay. And creating angles is 100% related to the setups as well, right? For because sure, they're both like related, right? Oh, for definitely for sure. It's like the difference of like me trying to shoot, like I we were talking about just a little bit before, like shooting straight on like this, it becomes a problem. So, yeah. but if I can shoot on you and you're facing this way, but I'm to your angle right here. It's a lot okay. different, right? So I want to make sure that I'm moving, circling my feet, create an angle, and that'll help me get to a finish. Yeah. And what about you, Gordon? What's the biggest challenge? Like the opposite question here. When you were fighting against wrestlers, what do you feel is the hardest thing like to deal with? Uh, well, specifically with Jaden, the fact that I just cannot put my hands on him at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I feel like my, my game is very is very heavy on hand fighting, and I feel like uh, when I'm going to tie up with him, first of all, every grip that I go to make just becomes his grip. And the second he makes a grip, he's always moving to an angle. So I go to make my oh, collar ties on his head, and yeah. then he just passes the elbow across. He's over here. I'm like, okay, well, that's not good. Then I go to step the leg back, and he shoots in the other leg. Yeah. Um, so it was actually really interesting. The first, first couple of days, he was doing a lot of sweep singles and moving into high crotches, and he would end up with his head to the outside. And there was a lot of guillotine danger or crackdown danger. 
which in our sport, if you move to crackdown, there's no penalty for me exposing my back to the floor. So it's a lot different as far as ADCC scoring versus freestyle scoring. Um, and then he started to realize that and he started to either put his head to the inside or immediately shelf my leg on a hip. So there's no guillotine danger. I can't force his head to the outside. And then I kind of just all fell apart for me after that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. When I trained with you, Jaden, I had the same feeling as well. Like he would grab my leg whenever he wants and I couldn't even find you. Like it was, it was, a, it was a very special day. Yeah, so guys, uh, Jaden and Gwarner has a bunch of instructional videos at bjjfanatics.com and Jaden also on fanaticwrestling.com. So make sure to check that out. They're one of the best instructors that I've ever seen. Not only like great athletes, but also great instructors. And uh, thanks so much, Jaden. Uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you, Gwarner. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.